Hey guys, there's Soft Tech here, and on this episode of Five Minute Tech Tips, we're gonna be talking about how to find the appropriate air nozzle in terms of length for your airsoft gun. So air nozzle length doesn't tend to be that big of a problem because most guns use standard lengths of air nozzles, but some guns don't exactly use the most standard lengths. So for example, if you have an M4 style airsoft gun, it might not actually need the SHS M4 air nozzle. That might be a hair too long than the one that you need, so you might either have to shave it down or get a different one. So today we're going to be using an ICS base M4 split gearbox design, and they tend to actually require slightly shorter air seal nozzles than the standard M4 length. So I'm going to show you guys how to find out that you do need a different length air seal nozzle. So in this video, I'll be using my ICS uh, base M4 for this, and the uh, split upper gearbox design makes this video particularly easy to do in this, in this uh, uh, tech tip kind of easy to perform on the split gearbox shell. It will be a little more difficult in you know full M4s and G36s and AKs but once I show you what we're doing here I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get the idea of what we're doing. In addition air nozzle length tend not, tends not to be a huge problem for anything other than M4s so uh, this problem should most likely be popping up for people using ICS M4s, Crytac, KWA, JG just to name a couple brands. So let's go to the bench here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. So if you guys have been doing airsoft tech work for any amount of time, you'll know that not everything in airsoft upgrading is an exact drop-in fit. Sometimes you have to work with the part or tune the part to actually get it to fit appropriately and work appropriately, appropriately in your airsoft gun. And air nozzles are no different in this regard. Sometimes they're too long, sometimes they're too short. And so you need to assess the length of air seal nozzle that you need to fit appropriately and work appropriately in your gun. So a too long of an air seal nozzle is gonna cause problems of you know, improper feeding and stuff like that, or you just won't be able to feed your BBs at all up the hop-up chamber. A too short of an air seal nozzle can actually cause double feeding, jamming, lowered FPS, and stuff like that. And so you do really wanna get the appropriate length air seal nozzle to work with your gun to maximize your FPS and to actually get appropriate feeding. So today we're going to be talking about how to get the appropriate length air nozzle. So particularly with ICS guns, they are uh, a little bit different, not quite fully on spec with Tokyo Murray uh, specifications like other guns are. And this makes them a little different in terms of what parts work best with them. And so particularly with ICS guns, the version three AK nozzle tends to be the perfect length for the uh, uh, M4 split gearbox design and so that's what I got in this upper receiver and that's what I have in my DMR upper receiver for my ICS and both of them work great. The M4 air nozzle is just a hair too long for this build. It won't work. I can't get it to feed appropriately or at all and so all manufacturers are different obviously and so your experiences are going to be different with Crytac, with VFC, with uh, GMP, GNG, JG it's all gonna be different. So that's why you need to know how to actually measure and assess the need or assess what length you need for your air nozzle. And so, you know, it's gonna be a case by case basis. Nine times out of 10, the M4 nozzle is gonna work in an M4 airsoft style gun. But if it doesn't, then you gotta know how to actually go about fixing that problem. And so that's what we're gonna talk about. All right, so I got the upper part of this uh, gun apart here. Uh, this is an M4 air seal nozzle right here, and this is a AK air nozzle here. And we'll turn on our calipers and we can take a measurement. About 21.4 uh, millimeters total for the M4. And then we can take a look at the AK. about 20.7 millimeters for the AK version uh, 3 air nozzle. And so, um, you know, obviously it, that's not a whole lot shorter, but it's, it's short enough to where it is definitely going to cause effect because t thinking in terms of millimeters here, that is, really, that is really small and that might sound really insignificant to a lot of people, but when we shim our gears, we're going by 0 0.1, 0 0.01 millimeter increments to shim our gears here. And so air seal nozzles can be just as finicky as gears here. 
and so it's really important to find the appropriate length. And so that's the measurements of those air seal nozzles. I want to show you guys the effects of having this improper length air seal nozzle in your gun. So this is going to be an odd angle shot here, but this is one of the best ways I can kind of explain what's going on here and how to actually uh, check your air nozzle length in your gearbox shell and your gun and hop up chamber and all that good stuff. So assemble your gun the best you can. Here I just have the ICS upper, I have the ICS upper gearbox shell in and the hop up chamber and everything. I try to have the hop up chamber in the upper receiver, I try to have the gearbox shell aligned in the upper receiver and pull the tappet plate back with the air nozzle in there to see if your air nozzle actually clears. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the improper length. And there you go, just a hair too long. And that's basically what one millimeter of uh, extra length does to an air seal nozzle when you have it fitted in the hop-up chamber. It won't clear all the way back. And so you gotta keep in mind your tappet plate can only pull back so far. It can't pull back any further than what the gearbox shell allows for it. So given you have a sector to layer chip, given you have you know a full length fin on your tappet plate, it's not going to change this length pullback at all. You just can't change it other than getting another air seal nozzle or shaving this one down. And so what you can do is you can shave down to a length, so a specific length on a uh, uh, pair of calipers or you can shave some check some shave some check some you can kind of go back and forth on that to get the exact length you need and all you got to be able to do is drop a BB in there pull the air seal nozzle back and if the BB loads into the chamber your air seal nozzle is the appropriate length so now let me put in the uh, appropriate length air seal nozzle and I'll show you guys what that looks like all right, so now I have the SHS version 3 AK air nozzle in here. The whole setup's the same, nothing has changed, just the air nozzle. And uh, you can see, obviously it's a little different color in there. And we make just the appropriate amount of clearance so that a BB could feed through. And so we can actually test this and kind of show this by dropping in a BB. Make sure it's an actual clean BB. Don't don't get one off your floor because this is it'll have blemishes. It might have cracks on it. It might not feed appropriately, even in a good setup. If it's a already shot BB, make sure you get a brand new one. And so we can kind of test it by pulling that thing back, tap it plate fin back, and it loads perfectly fine. And that is exactly how you want to test to make sure your air nozzle actually makes clearance. If it visually makes clearance, you know that's fine for some people. I always like to test things to make sure that that is actually occurring, who knows? You know, you might pull a tight plate fin back and it might not actually feed the BB through, in which case you might have another problem other than your air nozzle length. So I just like to kind of test things as a proof of concept before I actually put them to practice. So yeah, that is exactly how you uh, uh, assess the need for and uh, make adjustments to get an appropriate length air seal nozzle. All right, so that's gonna have to do it for this episode of Five Minute Tech Tips. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'd really appreciate it even more if you'd leave a like and subscribe while you're at it, if you haven't already. And also comment down below about what your all's experiences are with air nozzle lengths. In my experience, it tends to be significantly more of an issue than uh, with, with M4s than G36s, AKs, P90s. I've always, not always, but I significantly more run into this issue with M4s than I do all those other guns. So I'd like to hear what your all's experiences are down below. And if you have run into it with an AK or a G36, tell me how you went about correcting it and getting it exactly right. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever the heck I do. But until then, stay tuned, Tex.